Alright guys, so here I am at my local Meyer, and as you can see, it's pretty picked over, but let's just double check and see, we're on L case here, it looks pretty well stuck, but at the same time, it looks pretty picked over, so you guys know my rule of thumb, no need to waste time, hmm. look at that, I feel like this zoom in has been here for like five years. Let's just take a quick look. Pegs are pretty bare, no premiums whatsoever. Coming over here, checking out the monster trucks. I don't see anything from a monster jam standpoint, but this looks pretty loaded up here. You got all these Hot Wheels monster trucks, right? After they spinned off for a monster jam. Pretty loaded. I'm scared I'm gonna make some of these cars fall. You know, the one monster truck that I have yet to find and probably missed the boat on this one already, but was the antifreeze green Silverado with the flag in the back. I know that one was pretty hot. Uh, I don't really know what's hot right now. This is kind of neat, drag bus. Let's see, Phil's VW. Oh, look at that. It's actually got a treasure hunt symbol right there in the back there, if you see it right below the spoiler. Kind of neat. It's got the red wall tires there too. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna have to do some research on this. It might be something, guys. All right, guys. So after a quick eBay search, turns out this is a chase, and currently right now it's selling for about twenty to thirty dollars. So decent score this morning. Wasn't even expecting it. Had a research on the spot, but I guess that's what keeps hot wheel hunting fun, guys. It's so coming over here to the. Johnny Lightnings and Green Lights. So if you guys don't have Meyer in your general area, this store is always good for these secondary brands, JL, M2, Green Light. But as you can see, it's pretty bare. One brand that I skipped over here was Matchbox. Uh, it looks pretty empty as well too. One thing that I'll share with you guys is this car right here, or I guess this pack, this Action Drivers Pizza Hut with the Volkswagen GTI. It was pretty popular when it came out. It actually started as a Pizza Hut exclusive and now you can find it at Meijer. Currently $9. I know it's currently selling around $20 to $30. So it's a good pickup if you don't have it. Not quite an expert on these diorama sets from Matchbox, but might be worth the pickup if you guys do come across it. Alright guys, back at my local Target here, just doing a quick double check here, it's about midday so not really expecting too much, but right off the bat, EG Drag Car, the Honda Civic Custom, I actually have not found this one yet in stores, first time finding it in the wild, so this one will definitely be a keeper. Right behind it, we got a red STK. I do have this one already, but still a nice one if you guys have not seen that one yet. It's kind of odd. Someone must have set those up for the next collector, which would be me because I don't see anything else on the pegs here. It looks like it's just all fantasy casts. Coming over here, taking a look at five packs. Again, still looking for more night burners because I only have the one and I opened that. As you guys saw in my last video, it's kind of interesting. Got an old... Night Burners 5 pack. I'm guessing this is a return because this was like last year's Night Burners 5 pack. I do like the 510 wagon in this one quite a bit, but I don't think I need to get another one. I think I have one loose and one carded already. Jumping over here to premiums. Not seeing too much unless you're a big fan of Jurassic World. Uh, not really my cup of tea and back in the day when I used to do customs. Might have been good to get some of these for the wheel donors, but not so much anymore, especially not at $6.50 a piece. So this is a pretty good deal, guys, if you guys can take advantage of it. Spend $50, get $10 off, or $100, when you get $25 off. But taking a look here, we do got some transports, so hopefully, yes, got it. That's what I was looking for, the Skyline ER34. Super awesome to get this one, and this one's not terrible either. This is the retro rig in the Plymouth Cuda, kind of decked out in that snake and mongoose type livery, but pretty awesome there. This one, guys, kind of a fool's gold scenario. I know a lot of people are finding this and selling them for about $20 a piece. You can see retail is about $9, but it's a hauler rig. It's Target exclusives. 
it's pretty neat guys but i don't know not really my cup of tea i don't think i'm gonna be picking up too much of those but these two transports for sure i'll be taking all right so checking out the side end cap here i actually ran into the stalker who was really nice and pulled out one of these for me so this is the fao swars gold set from hot wheels and just give you guys a quick sneak peek i think i'll do more of a showcase on this but pretty awesome the car out of this set that i was really looking forward to no surprise it's the hakoska skyline all in gold but pretty awesome to get this it's 20 dollars, and again perfect item to take advantage of this spend 100 get 25 dollars off sweet piece but just taking a look at this end cap here kind of more of the same nothing on the five packs there are some more transports here if anybody's interested in the shells, but not too interested in that. Do got a two pack here of the Knight Rider, a uh, bunch of RC cars. I've heard these things are actually pretty fun, but I don't have a track set up to use them. So maybe one of these days for my kids. I did take a quick look at this bin. Again, nothing major or real neat in here. It's been picked through pretty heavily. And the other thing too, is we did get the eight pack Ultra Hots as well too. So. Still kind of out on this one. I'm not sure if I want to pick it up or not. I do have a couple of the singles, but not sure if I want the full eight pack. So we'll see, maybe next time. All right guys, so we are back from the run to Target. So I wanted to showcase what I got there and also to just put a little spotlight on how much I saved, because how often can we say that we saved money at the retail level? So as I mentioned at the store, I wanted to take advantage of that spend $100, get $25 off deal that Target had with the Target Circle. So what I did was I ended up getting four of the FAO Swars 8 car gold set for Hot Wheels. And before you guys get the pitchforks out, I'm not hoarding these for myself. I actually reached out to a couple of my buddies in town. They were actually looking forward to these cars as well too. So I figured I'd get two for myself, one to open up for you guys, one to keep sealed. And then the other two are going off to my buddies. And then also to get to that nice round $100 price point, I picked up the ER3014 Transport. I ended up going back and getting that 5-pack Nightburners. Can't have enough of these 510 wagons with that cool cherry blossom decal on the side there. Again, I had to get the Honda Civic Custom. The one card that I did skip on guys because it would have put me well over $100 was the Team Transport of the Plymouth Cuda. I liked it. It does have some value. Currently right now it's sitting at about $25 to $30 which might be part of the fact that it's still an early release and the values are a little inflated right now but just didn't really fit my collection. Didn't really know what I wanted to do with it so I skipped on that. but. All said and done guys, everything you see here put me exactly at $100 and if you look at my receipt just to show proof guys, each one of these Swars 8 packs cost me $15 a piece, the Team Transport dropped down to $12, the Hot Wheel itself, the Civic EG was $0.90 cents, and the 5 pack was only $4.23 so all said and done guys, I saved about $28 which isn't too bad and just to put things into perspective right now the ER34 team transport is selling for about $25 to $30 which again might be a little over inflated because it's still so new but nonetheless that's what it's selling for the night burners 5 pack from 2021 that right now is selling for about $10 the EG Civic has dropped down tremendously right now it's sitting at about two to three dollars and then also the FAO swores a lot more than what I had thought they were gonna go for but they're selling for about forty dollars right now in the secondary market which I don't condone buying them at that price I was able to find four of them at the store honestly there was a lot more in the back all you gotta do is ask for them and my guess is they're gonna be lining the shelves soon enough but not a bad haul for only $78 out the door, guys. All right, so let's get the Swars Gold Cars out of pack and take a better look. So first up, we got this 1963 Aston Martin DB5 in gold. 
pretty nice color. This one actually has a wheel ear on it as well too. I'm just noticing that now. Moving over to the Volkswagen T2 pickup. A pretty popular cast nowadays. I like this one. The, the gold truck bed really shines and stands out. All these cars too, it's got this metallic gold paint and essentially these ghost graphics on the side which all kind of blend together but looks really good. Land Rover Defender 90, pretty neat little truck here. Kind of wish the spare tire or spare wheel on the back also had a gold rim but still looks pretty good. This one's definitely going to be popular, the Bone Shaker. And when I first saw this in the pack, I actually immediately thought about the Larry Wood 50th anniversary release back in 2019. They are different. I thought it was actually going to be a re-release, but it's got different graphics. It's a different shade of gold, but pretty cool to have both of these in the collection because they complement each other pretty well. This one, surprisingly, if you look on secondary market, it sells alone for $15. Pretty surprising. A Hot Wheels original. You got the twin mill. Moving over to the 67 Camaro. This one's pretty cool just because the front end is actually based on the windshield. And it's all clear, which I've never seen that before. That's an interesting aesthetic that they put on this car a little 1971 Porsche 911 action one that would make Magnus Walker proud I'm sure looks pretty good and last but not least what I think is the best car out of this set it's the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX you guys know I've claimed this car the next Datsun 510. Just look at all the different releases that Hot Wheels is putting this car in. Gold set nonetheless, guys. Continue to see the popularity of this car going up. So that is what I got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed that hunt video. Hopefully you're able to get out there, check your targets. Make sure you pick up this FAO Swars 8-pack gold car set. And make sure you take advantage of that $25 off $100 or $10 off $50. Still a good deal. Take advantage of those deals where you can, guys. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.